Good afternoon and welcome to our midday prayer. Yesterday I was reading and listening to an amazing podcast about how we may have missed the boat as the church. One of the questions asked by the man who was making the podcast does God really want us to do in this time? We have gone very much into hiding and are longing for when we can get back together. Some of us wanting to do so as soon as possible, others really being sensible and waiting for when it is safer. But what lessons were there to learn? I know that we as a church, we as St. Thomas, have been involved in giving, in making other people's lives better. And I really commend you for that. Well done and thank you. And I'm really proud to be part of this church. But was there something that we needed to repent of? individuals, the church, the country. Did we lead in this repentance? And I think yes is the answer to that. But did we get enough people to join us? What about learning the lessons about the new normal for church? Are we longing for the old ways? Or are we looking for what God is doing new? Are we like the Israelites wanting to go back to Egypt to what we know? Even if it does mean suffering. Or are we willing to look forward to what God has prepared for us in the new? Just some thoughts, um, and maybe we can step up the prayer and fasting for the country. Right now, the president needs our prayers, he needs our support, as he makes more and more enemies of those who are involved in corruption. I want to turn to the psalm for today, and... uh, Just in case you have missed it, today is the remembrance of the beheading of John the Baptist. We all know that story. And we must remember that John died because he stood up for what he believed. He spoke out about what he believed. And he was willing to lay his life down for what he believed. On to Psalm 33, verses 12 to 21. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place he watches all who live on earth. He who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance, despite all its great strength it cannot save. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love, to deliver them from death, to keep them alive in famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our hope and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. A minor reflection of what David writes in Psalm 46, God is our hope and our strength. 
God is our hope and our refuge. And yes, I think I might just end today's prayer time with that lovely hymn. But look at what it says. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. We have been chosen indeed for his inheritance. I remind you of Ephesians 1. We also know that God watches us from his dwelling. And he considers all that we do. So the question is, what are we doing? Are we leading people in repentance? Are we inviting people to pray with us on a Friday? Are we inviting people to continue to fast and pray on a Friday? We now have the president to pray for. Praying for his strength. Praying that he will not give in to the pressure. Let me take this opportunity to indeed pray for him. Lord, we pray that you will strengthen our president, that you will firm his resolve to beat corruption. Indeed, Lord, that you will protect him, because now he has made many an enemy. Father, we pray that you will continue to give him wisdom. And may we as a nation stand behind him. May we as your servants stand next to him, lifting his arms as Moses' arms were lifted during the battle. Father, we pray for our nation and we do repent of all that we have done. We repent of the apartheid days. We repent of the farm murders. We repent of the gender-based violence. We repent of the excesses that we indulge in. We repent, Lord, of the pain and suffering that we cause one another. And we repent especially, Lord, that, yes, while we call ourselves a Christian country, you are furthest from our mind most of the time. We pray for all who are involved in dealing with COVID and thank you for the medical staff who have watched over many a person and nursed them back to health. We thank you for Barry Wilson that he has been restored to health and that is back at home. We pray, Lord, for continued vigilance by our country, even as the curve has made its turn. We pray, Lord, against any second wave that might come. We pray that as people in South Africa, we will be sensible and that we will continue to follow the rules. And where we see someone who isn't 
pray, Lord, that you give us the wisdom to approach them and to show them that it's not for their benefit, but for the benefit of others that we follow these rules. Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones in this time. We pray that they will know your comfort, that they will know your peace. We pray for those who have recovered and we give thanks for them. And we pray, Lord, that, that in their rejoicing they will remember that it is you who brought about that miracle. And so we ask, Lord, that you will continue to be with us as a nation. Keep us aware of what we should be doing to show people that we follow you, to acknowledge that you are the God who brings healing and watches over us. I invite you to say the Lord's Prayer with me. We pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. May today be a day of blessing, knowing that you are blessed to bless others. And so we pray, may Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Adonai look on you with favor and give you his peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, your family, and all for whom you pray, this day and always. Amen. Till tomorrow, 8.30, God bless, stay well, stay healthy. Bye-bye. God is our strength and refuge, our present help in trouble, and we therefore will not fear, though the earth should change. Shake and tremble